Have you heard about Sparkle Endpoints? In today's digital world, organizations generate and collect vast amount of data. To make sense of this data, it's crucial to be able to easily access, query, and share the data. This is where Sparkle Endpoints come in. A Sparkle Endpoint is a web service that allows for the querying of Triple Store using the Sparkle query language. It enables clients to execute queries against the data stored in the Triple Store and receive the results in a format such as CSV and JSON. Sparkle Endpoints are typically used to provide access to large decentralized sets of RDF data and are commonly used in a context of linking data and the semantic web. For example, linked open data published by organizations are available to anyone. And if you're a citizen data scientist, you can use Sparkle query language to write queries. Here we have the statistical LOD of Japan's website that integrates demographic data in the country. This statistical data from cities and counties across the country can be queried using Sparkle endpoints. This is built on top of the Oracle graph feature that is part of the Oracle database and provides a query editor like this. Here you can run the Sparkle queries and check the result. For example, let's run a sample query to find the population of the Shinjuku ward based on the year. For issuing queries from your application, you can send REST requests to the same endpoint. Let's try it with curl command. First, write the same Sparkle query and save it as a file. Then, the curl command encodes the query and posts it to the REST endpoint. The result, the population of the Shinjuku ward in the two census years, is returning JSON. This should be the easiest way for app developers to retrieve the data. National Statistics Center also provides sample applications in Japanese statistics. The land is divided into small areas using 1 km by 500 meters by 250 meter grids. This map application can search for the polygons where a specific geolocation is included. The Sparkle queries being executed here utilizes a spatial function, OGCF colon SF contains, which is powered by Oracle Spatial to optimize query performance. Citizen data scientists and developers can also develop applications that utilize this endpoint. For example, here we have one of the applications submitted in the LOD Challenge 2021 event. It uses the endpoint to get the population pyramid of a place based on municipality, prefecture, and city. It also has a time series feature that allows the user to see how in this case, the young population of Kesenuma City is radically decreasing as we get closer to the present years. The Sparkle endpoint is a powerful tool that enables and promotes the effective utilization of open data. As more and more open data is published in RDF format as linked open source, the use of this tool will become even more valuable. It will allow us to access a variety of data sets from different countries using Sparkle queries and link them together using a single query syntax, resulting in new insights and discoveries for cities. This feature makes it possible to query against multiple data sets published in RDF format, with ease enabling users to access and analyze data in a more efficient and effective way.